Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Event Worldwide and we are on March 30th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, look at volcanoes and world weather. And we had yet another pretty large solar flare in M class from the same region in the bottom right hand side that produced the X class solar flare. So we've seen some quite a bit of activity over the last little while, as well that huge geomagnetic storm, strongest in over six years, just this past week, looking at the last 48 hours, that CME from the plasma filament took off in an outgoing fashion, but could give us a glancing blow. Having a look here, outgoing, there are the X-class solar flare and M-class solar flare coming from region 3256, sunspot region 3256. Another closer look at it there. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Zoomed and mixed in here with daily events worldwide. And I want to thank you all for watching tonight. Happy that you are part of the community, staying aware and prepared to daily events worldwide. Looking at the multi-spectrum, notable activity going out in that northeast direction, opposite of all of the flare activity. The CME was detected, taking off in an outgoing fashion. Another look here, we can see the coronal holes. blackened in the equatorial region for the past 24 hours. There are our active sunspots. Geomagnetic activity is slightly elevated just recently as we had our solar winds pick up. We're sitting at R2 moderate radio blackouts can occur as well a G1 minor geomagnetic storm. Solar winds are coming in at 557 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux looking here, you can see the X-class solar flare and the M-class solar flare, strong M-class. Geomagnetic activity bumped up to KP4. And as I said, 570 kilometers per second, solar winds are hitting Earth right now. Density has gone down, temperature heading up. Welcome to the solar maximum, solar cycle 25, heading in to 2030. Having here a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing a large CME taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe, outgoing fashion, and as well quite a bit of activity we are expected over the next 24 hours as predicted here with the space weather prediction spiral. Having a look at Lasco 2, this is where we can see all the activity leaving the sun. See me on the left hand side, that was from the plasma filament eruption yesterday. And as well the M class solar flare today, producing quite a CME in an outgoing fashion, watching there in the bottom right of our sun right there amazing stuff thank you all for watching having a look at earthquakes here at the past 24 hours pretty deep earthquake just occurred fiji region 572 kilometer depth 4.4 this has been a very quiet region right now west ring of fire gotta wonder what's coming next we did report the 6.3 today constitution chile but it a couple earthquakes have followed there, aftershocks, Tomeo, Chile 4.4 and a 4.2, 4.5 here in San Carlos, Colombia. Activity coming back to Puerto Rico. Now this was a really quiet region yesterday and it's bumped up. 4.6 there, Mexico looking across the U.S. plate. The swarm has calmed down throughout Yellowstone, but we did see an earthquake south of Yellowstone today. 3.3 there in Hoback, 
Wyoming. Having a look at USGS, they're reporting 342 earthquakes now. The past 24 hours, we're up at about 350 or 360 last night. Earthquakes notable there across the New Madrid from Tennessee and westward up into the active Yellowstone here having a look last 24 hours now 21 earthquakes through the region but notable all the increasing activity across the west coast heads up everybody just be ready Alaska picking up activity today as well northward towards Katluk 4.3 here reported at two station and as well a 4.3 here Japan pretty deep earthquake over 400 kilometer depth 4.8 there Mariana's Trench but still way too quiet through the Pacific West notable earthquake here 4.0 hitting Buckback Austria and as well a 4.5 in the middle of the Mediterranean Greece and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world, largest being the 6.3 that occurred this morning in Chile. Expecting some more activity, especially with another deep earthquake there in Fiji, as noted. All of the elevated rings are the depth of the earthquakes. Amazing planet and amazing community here. Thank you all for tuning in to all of this amazing science and observations. Almost 63,000 followers worldwide. Let's have a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes. Luatolo in Indonesia, as well as Simaru and Fuego. Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Also Popo in Mexico. Ebico in Russia. Shevelich in Russia. Bezimiani as well. Sabinkaya in Peru. So that's a lot of volcanoes getting updated today. We've seen about 15 updated and three of them have awakened in the past three days. Luatolo, as well as Bezimiani, and San Miguel. Having a look at worldwide satellite imagery, still a very large system through the Pacific. We're going to be keeping an eye on this to see where it goes and see if it continues on northward towards Alaska. Could be a doozy of a storm in the long-range forecast. Having a look at satellite imagery, very deepened low pressure system there as well a big low coming into california right now and then another low pressure system pacific low north came straight from alaska is going to be squeezing in behind that california system right there interesting developments across the northern hemisphere right now especially with all of the jet streams that have changed over the last little bit. I've been noting them. Please, if you see the videos popping up, share them with your friends and family so that everyone can be aware and prepared and ready for the big changes that are coming. Overlooking the rest of the world, pretty big system there affecting Europe right now. The United Kingdom is about to get whacked by some pretty strong winds. Having a look at the windy models here from windy.com. Pretty big system coming out of North America this week. And then another one, April 4th into 5th. And then watch as it all is forecasted to head straight up into Iceland and Alaska. All these systems joining forces. There's going to be some very strong winds this week. And some stormy conditions across the United States through the regular tornado alley regions so heads up stay safe thoughts and prayers to everybody that will be affected snow coming into the pacific northwest and then snow coming in for eastern canada again and watch in the west there through alaska we're still getting some strong northern pacific lows 
that seem to be coming in to just south of California, as well push of equatorial air there through Mexico. Overlooking the rest of the world, gray days ahead of you for Europe. Things won't be really clearing out until the 5th or 6th of April. No major cyclones or typhoons developing here in the forecast models. Overlooking Pacific Ocean, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Watching some interesting signatures as equatorial winds are exchanging themselves across the equator and into Micronesia. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's update. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.